Heyo, I'm back. It's been uh, a minute since I posted on this channel. I thought it just made sense to do a tier ranking of everything I've read in 2022. A few things I've already talked about on this channel, but a lot of them are new since it's been, I don't know, six months since I posted a video. So a couple of rules. If I read anything in that series this year, I'm just gonna tier list the entire series. Some of them I finished, some of them I haven't. I also am not including anything that I DNF'd, um, unless I DNF'd it far into the series. Let's go! The Wheel of Time. I heard a couple of them this year. I ended up DNFing the entire series. Ugh. The, the Wheel of Time is so hard because I wanted to love it. And in fact, I actually really enjoyed several things about it. But in the end, I just, I, I got burnt out on all of the stubbornness. Every character to me just felt like they were so stubborn. I'm waffling here between A and B tier. A, because I did really enjoy it at the beginning, but B, because I, I ended up DNFing it and I had some serious issues with it. I might move it as other stuff gets put on the list. Next up is The Dresden Files. Ooh, I have been reading The Dresden Files all year long. I'm on number seven right now. And actually, I'm a little worried that number seven is gonna kind of shift my view because I'm not enjoying it as much as I have enjoyed some of the other ones. I love the characters in The Dresden Files. I also love that every book we get a little bit more of an expansion of this world and Harry Dresden just ke keeps getting deeper and deeper into kind of a mess. I would consider putting it in S tier. However, there've been a couple of books that I've been feeling kind of met about. Grave Peril I didn't love as much. Right now I'm on Deadbeat and I'm not loving it as much either. Next up we have The Poppy War. I loved the first book, but I ended up DNFing the second book actually pretty fast because the main character, I can't remember her name right now. I wanna say it's like Ren or something. I just thought she was so annoying in book two and I wondered if I had just missed it in book one and I was just like enamored with the concept of the book or if she just got really annoying in book two, but oh, I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. With the Poppy War, we're gonna go at B as well. Next up is Red Rising. Oh, I have mixed feelings, pretty mixed feelings about Red Rising. I almost DNF'd it right off the bat because it had a heavy YA feel to it that I just did not connect with. The stuff that I didn't like ended quickly and I really got into Red Rising and the subsequent books were a lot more of the same, which is why I am hesitant about it because I, I kept wanting something to elevate. I wanted, I guess, a bigger thrill each time and I didn't really feel like the series as a whole really delivered on that, um, I don't know, expectation that I had. That's just the original trilogy. I ended up DNFing Iron Gold pretty quickly because it takes place 10 years later and I felt like this is just more of the same. 10 years later, our characters don't even seem like they're different. So I just, did, I just quit. I'm just sticking with the trilogy. I'm gonna put it in A tier just because I enjoyed the original trilogy so much. It's definitely not getting S tier though. Next up is the Gentleman Bastard series. I've only read Lies of Lakamora. I've had the second one on hold at the library for like, I don't know, seven months now. And um, there's just a lot of people that wanna read it, I guess. Just based on the first book, I loved the Lies of Lakamora. In my opinion, there were very few negative things about it. One of them would be I didn't like the flashbacks all the time. I specifically did not like the prologue at all. Besides that, it was beautiful, wonderful, just all out fun. Did I really just call Lies of Lakamora beautiful and wonderful? Not my best word choice. I'm giving it S tier. It's, I feel a little bit like this is cheating because I haven't read the rest of the series. Whereas with some of the other ones, I have I have more to go off of, but I don't know, it's S tier, deal with it. Next up is Foundry Side. Foundry Side is just an all out kind of go, go, go type of story. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. I got super into it and I really don't have any complaints. My one complaint would be that I don't feel this intense desire to read the next book. I want to read the next book, but I'm not dying to either. So I, I don't know, that's that's a weird complaint maybe, but um, I'm putting it at A tier. For some reason it just doesn't feel S tier. All right, another controversial one is up next. The blade itself, oh, 
This one was weird to me because I loved the blade itself for honestly no reason whatsoever to the point where I was thinking about rereading it even. And then I read number two. I don't remember what number two was called. Before They Are Hanged, that's what it's called. I remember after I read Before They Are Hanged, I just felt like, ugh, why did I waste my time reading this? And, and it's sad because I loved the first one so much. So, and I don't know, I honestly, I feel like it was just the mood that I was in that when I read the first one, I was just in this kind of like darker, like, yeah, let's destroy everything and life sucks kind of mood. And then the second one, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. That's my guess, I don't know. Because the second one was just such a bomb, we're going with C tier. Ooh, next up, Jade City. I loved Jade City. I've only read the first one, I haven't gotten to number two yet, but it was so enthralling and I cannot wait to read the next book. I'm dropping it in S tier. Boom. Next up is Monster Hunter International. This is another difficult one for me to place. I really enjoyed the first one. However, kind of similar to Red Rising, how I didn't really feel like it elevated much as the series went on. I started reading the second book and it just felt like more of the same. I wanted the story to be elevated more. From comments that I've heard online, it does eventually do that, but I just didn't feel enough of that in the second story. and. I decided to DNF the second one. I think we're gonna go to B tier with this one too because I really did enjoy the first book. Next up, The Witcher series. I've been reading The Witcher series for a pretty long time. I read it sporadically. Lady of the Lake I know was the most recent one I read. And I think I read Time of Contempt like all the way back in January or February. The thing about The Witcher is that I just loved The Last Wish and Sword of Destiny. Those two books are structured differently. They're kind of like outside the series almost. And I haven't loved the series as much. I haven't really felt like there's been one book in the Witcher series that has been kind of weak. I kind of always feel like there's something missing. But what I want to do is I want to put The Last Wish and the Sword of Destiny in S tier and the rest of it in B tier. We're gonna meet in the middle and put it in A tier, I guess. Next up is Stormlight Archive. This series has been hyped up for me for a really long time. My, my entry into the Cosmere was through Mistborn, and since then, I've kind of been holding off of jumping into the Stormlight Archive, mainly because ever since I started Mistborn, I've been intimidated by Stormlight Archive. The way that people talk about it makes it sound like it's this like grand entry into um, Brandon Sanderson's like multiverse universe. It is, but it's not as like intense as people make it sound. And I feel like maybe it's because the people who are most vocal about it are a little bit more intense about the Cosmere and they really get into the lore and stuff. But it's very digestible. But so let's talk about my actual opinions about the books. I get so caught up in them. They're all I can think about. The problem though is, is that they are so so long. Let's see, Oathbringer is 1,298 pages. As amazing as it is to have such an intense fantasy novel, the problem is is that they're so captivating to me that I burn through them. And then after that, I'm just like, I need a Brandon Sanderson break. So I want to put the Stormlight Archive into S tier, but because it like weighs me down so much, it's gonna be popped into A tier as well. I do think that it is probably at the top of my A tier and maybe even should be an S tier, but it does have a like literal physical effect on me. <laughs> Next up, we've got The Magicians. The Magicians has a um, series, I think it's on Netflix. I don't think it's by Netflix. I think it's sci-fi, but whatever. It has a TV show. And so that's how I got into it uh, originally. And I hadn't read the books. And I figured it was one of those things where, oh, if you watch the movie first, I'm not gonna enjoy the book as much. I That happens, you know, fairly often. But it had been so such a long time since I'd watched the series and I had DNF'd the series, so I decided to pick it up again and I loved it. I feel like it's often kind of called like Harry Potter meets Game of Thrones. It's more like Chronicles of Narnia hits um, meets Game of Thrones. It's weird because you take like Game of Thrones and that almost feels like a perversion on Narnia. However, somehow it's still nostalgic for me even though I'm reading it now. It's nostalgic for Narnia, despite it's like more Game of Thronesy feel. My one complaint about The Magicians is that the main character is um, 
can be kind of a drag sometimes. And that's part of like the feel of the story. It is what makes it a masterpiece, especially in the first one. I did get some fatigue with the main character's attitude. I've only read the first two, haven't started the third one yet. Surprisingly, I'm dropping it in S tier. The last one is Brandon Sanderson again, Mistborn Era 2. I've already talked about Mistborn Era 2 a lot on this channel, but we now have The Lost Metal. This one is the only one where I like legitimately read the entire series. I loved Mistborn Era 2. It's very different from Mistborn Era 1, but it's still so good. One of my favorite things was Brandon Sanderson's ability to take kind of a cozy mystery type book that usually those stories are contained and aren't really world impacting, but he brings that cozy mystery feel into an epic fantasy setting and it's just really good. I did have some complaints about the last book. I don't wanna ruin it for you by talking about those in this video. This is just tears. I'm dropping Mistborn Era 2 into S tier. Now, I know some of you guys are like, wait, what? Mistborn Era 2 is in front of Stormlight Archive? I'm sorry, but like, it is. It just is. That's my opinion. Fight me down in the comments. Thanks guys. Let me know what your S tier books were for 2022. I want to get them into my TBR because what's life without S tier books? If you made it this far, you haven't clicked subscribe, you haven't clicked like, do it. I'll check you guys later.